Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about Bertrand's box paradox. And the situation goes like this. Um, on a table there are three boxes. Um, each box has two drawers in it. In the first box, both the drawers have gold coins. In the second box, the first drawer has a silver coin, the second drawer has a gold coin, and in the last box both drawers have silver coins. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So there are three boxes on a table. Each box has two drawers in them. And you could pick one of those drawers and you get a certain um, coin out of it. And the question is, suppose you choose a box from the... F suppose you pick one of those boxes and you open one of the drawers and you withdraw a gold coin. So in your first pick from the drawer, you get a gold coin what are the chances that the coin in the other drawer is also a gold coin? Feel free to pause the video here and have a think and come up with an answer for yourself. Okay, so the, the intuition, the reason this is called a paradox is because intuition would tell us that the probability the second coin will be gold is one half. Because if you picked this gold coin in the first box, this one here, then you've got a gold coin there. But if you picked this gold coin, then you get a silver coin. So that's one out of two chance of getting a gold coin. So it's one half. Um, however, that doesn't take into account that either you can pick this gold coin or you could pick this gold coin first or you could pick this gold coin. So there are actually three possibilities of picking a gold coin on your first pick. So it can't pos the probability can't possibly be one half um, because you're, you've got three choices there. So if you picked this gold coin first, you would get a gold coin second. If you picked this gold coin first, you'd get a gold coin second. And if you'd pick this gold coin first, you get a silver coin. So the probability is actually two thirds. Okay, so that's Bertrand's box paradox. Um, it kind of illustrates a, a common theme in probability of not being able to trust our intuition when it comes to problems like this. And also this idea that 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 first box has two gold coins and actually picking either of those gold coins counts as a separate um, possibility. Um, in other words, you can't just count picking one of those gold coins as one event. You have to, pick, you have to s treat them as two separate events, either this coin first or this coin first or this coin first. And that gives you a probability of the second coin being two out of three. Okay. Um, I hope that was an. In I hope you found this interesting. If you did like this video and you want to see more content like this, please um, hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot. Um, and also, you will get to see a lot more videos from me as I plan to keep um, keep improving my content and keep trying to grow my YouTube channel. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.